So, we are looking here a synchronous counter circuit is given and it is mentioned the initial content of the synchronous counter at Q A Q B is 1 0 respectively. We are looking a question after 13th clock pulse after 13th clock pulse what is the content of the counter. So, to recognize after 13th clock pulse what is the content of the counter first of all we need to recognize what is the mod value of the counter. Suppose consider the mod value of the counter mod value of the counter let us name as say n and if at all we are looking after say k number of clock pulses after k number of clock pulses we want to know what is the content of the counter if at all if at all k is greater than n to recognize after k number of clock pulses what is the content of the counter we need to use the remainder operator k remainder operator n. So, what is the value we are going to look that is the content of the counter with the or after the kth clock pulse it is a content of the counter after kth clock pulse. So, based on this question first of all we need to recognize what is the mod value of the counter later we can think after this 13th clock pulse after 13th clock pulse what is the content of the counter. So, if you look based on the connections which are available in the circuit connections the flip flop A inputs if you look J A is Q B complement and K A is 0 and similarly if you look to the flip flop B inputs J A as well as K A both are connected to Q A both are connected to Q A. So, based on the connections we are able to recognize these are the connections what we are looking on flip flop A and flip flop B respectively. While applying the clock signal we need to check first after how many clock pulses the circuit is back to initial state. So, you can see before a clock signal before this first clock pulse if you look to the inputs of flip flop A it is a Q B bar means 1 it is 0 Q A means it is it is 1 it is also 1. So, now if you apply the clock signal after first clock pulse you can see because of this 1 0 inputs the flip flop A output is 1 because of this 1 1 inputs the flip flop B output will toggle. So, that is getting 1. So, after first clock pulse the content in the counter is 1 1. Now, before second clock pulse we need to check what inputs Q B bar so, Q B is 1, Q B bar is 0, Q A is 1, Q A is 1. Now, if you apply the second clock pulse because of this 0, 0 inputs the flip flop A output same as the previous state, previous state was 1. So, same thing will continue and flip flop B is having the inputs 1, 1. So, that is a toggle or complement to the previous state. So, it is coming to 0. So, we are looking here the circuit is back to initial state just after 2 clock pulses. Hence, we are recognizing the mod value of the given counter circuit is 2. When the mod value of the given counter circuit is 2, then by using this formula what we said, we can able to recognize what is the content of the counter after 13th clock pulse. So, 13 remainder operator 2 is giving 1. So, that while taking the initial state as 1 0, we need to recognize the content of the counter just after first clock pulse just after first clock pulse we are able to recognize the content of the counter is coming to be 1 1. Hence the answer to this question after first clock pulse the answer to the question what are you looking it is 1 1 from the given options what are you looking the answer is coming to be option C. The answer is option C.